Hey everybody, it's Mark Sargent, and a bunch of people sent me via email and text, and they called me and let me know that there was this interesting article put out by, uh, the website is called the Main Republic Email Alert, and I'll put a screenshot up for you, it's just Main Republic Email Alert, and the title is called Donald Trump Says Earth Is Flat. Now, to preface this, I don't know how legitimate this is. I don't know if so, you know, if he gets any sort of pushback, will he, you know, will he start backpedaling? Did he actually say this? Is this a, a smear campaign as part of the uh, the Clinton administration? I don't know, uh, but let's let's read it and and then let you guys decide, and, and we'll see what follow what follow up we get from this. So, Donald Trump says Earth is flat. Republican Party presidential nominee Donald Trump and running mate Mike Pence, 2016. That's the picture that you're looking at. Uh, Baltimore, Maryland, Associated Press. Speaking to reporters in Baltimore on Monday, following the 138th Conference for the National Guard Association of the United States, the Republican Party's presidential nominee revealed that he is a member of a growing population known generally as Flat Earth Truthers. I fly a lot, and I mean a lot. No one flies more than me. Listen, I own a jet. I own a 757. Beautiful plane. It's the best plane. If the world were round, believe me, I would know. The comments came in response to a question from an AP reporter, Charles Darr, regarding the future role of the National Guard as private companies proliferate space travel. Mr. Trump, if elected, are you willing to increase taxes in order to meet the growing budget demands of the National Guard as uh, ex existential? existential threats from our enemies grow along with the advancement of space travel technology? Darr asked. The presidential hopeful replied that such a future is nonsense, adding that the round earth people, and you know who they are, these people have an agenda. It's all on the internet. It's there. After declaring that the world is flat, Mr. Trump, as he has done before, again cited the internet as his primary source of information. There are people out there, many people, and I mean missile experts, sailors, you name it folks, and this is what they're saying. It's all on the internet. It's there. The Flat Earth Conspiracy Theory, like most conspiracy theories, is propagated primarily via the internet. Internet forums and YouTube channels, and I gotta mention that if you click on the channels link in this article, it goes straight to my YouTube page, for whatever reason, uh, are dedicated to enlightening the vast majority who, as truthers explain, naively buy into the globe earth theory that has been sold to them since birth. One piece of evidence that Flat Earthers, sorry, Flat Earth Truthers present as proof that there is a global conspiracy against them is the emblem used by the United Nations, implying that the inter governmental organization is part of the conspiracy. In it, the planet is displayed as a flat earth, with the northern pole at the center and southern hemisphere continents stretched out towards the circumference, just as the planet really is, according to truthers. And then it shows a, a picture of uh, a flat earth diagram in the United Nations logo. And then the article concludes with this. In April, after stating that he is open to following Japan and South Korea to develop nuclear weapons to alleviate the financial costs of the United States' role as policeman to the world, Trump also suggested minimizing the authority of the United Nations. By the way, United Nations, Trump said, same thing, smaller numbers. Uh, in now deleted tweets, Trump also seemingly offered biblical evidence of a flat earth. He supposedly sent a tweet that said, Book of Matthew, folks, the devil took him to a very high mountain, very high, and what did he do? He showed him the whole world. And the second one, supposedly, that he sent was Isaiah 40.22, of course, which it is he who sits above the circle of the earth. Crooked Hillary environmentalists are paid liars. They will be exposed. And, and then about the guy that wrote uh, this particular article, uh, David Robinson. David Robinson is author and journalist living in the mid-coast area of Maine. He is a graduate and alumni of the Brunswick Police Academy. He served as a juror, seated on the Cumberland County, Maine Grand Jury for the first four-month four -month session of 2014. Publisher Robinson served three months of a four-month sentence for conspiracy to defraud the United States at the FCI Berlin Minimum Security Satellite Camp in Berlin, New Hampshire, as retaliation after he and a friend sued the IRS unsuccessfully for unfair trade practices under Title 15 of the U.S. Code. So, it's full disclosure there, you know, you, you get the top, and it looks like a Christian website. At the very top of the website, it says, that I should bear witness to the truth, John 1837, by David E. Robinson, publisher. So, is David E. Robinson the one that created this, or did Trump actually say it? I don't know. It's up to you guys to, to do some more digging. I will I will do some research on my side and see if I can find out, see if anyone else picks it up. Uh, I know that at least CNN out of Germany, CNN.de, picked up the story, so let's see how much traction it gets. And again, it's interesting. You know, I'm still a big believer of any publicity is good publicity, and you know whether or not he latches onto this, will it sink his campaign? Was it supposed to sink in the first place? I don't know, but it's an interesting story to say the least. And I'm, I'm very uh, flattered that whoever wrote this linked when the YouTube channel to to my you know Mark K. Sargent thing. So anyway, that's it, guys. Talk to you soon. <laughs>